you know the deal with hitting them niches and being real is more than flipping switches that's how good luck best switches the haters don't talk now while i hear us cricket what up guys back with another video um this one might be a little bit different i guess uh i'm on my other alt account i don't really use nameless chaos anymore if you didn't know that i do um, I made one that was actually in our server range because, man, is it getting really hard to recruit anymore. So I switched my alt over onto my own server range so it can be part of our union and bam, we're full. So, that said, this video is going to be covering how to, I guess we'll just call it hoard things. Um, I keep getting asked, I think about like six times now, how to hoard money or at least collect gold and while there's no real way you probably haven't already tried to do it I'm just gonna show you my little way of doing so so um, in a video way earlier I don't even know when it's probably one of my originals um, I had mentioned that I don't really cash in those the hourly things you can see I even have a 24 hour one in there and the reason I don't is not just because I'd like to progress as far as I can on X War first before cashing them in. So that when you do cash them in, you're getting the full amount for them when you go for this thing. Because as you can see, that's what the three things are based off of. Not that I really care about experience because your personal level doesn't really seem to matter for anything. But, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Because the level going up does give you other things i think no that's technically from vip so i don't think your level does anything but anyway so yeah and this is this is how i usually do it i collect that because it's usually full when i first log on some of the stuff i can't really do because like i said already logged on um i do all my fights that i can for a while you know the same thing you normally do get money anywhere you can Go over to Union, do all the Union stuff. Anywhere you can collect money. Star Trek, which I'm about to finish. I just haven't yet. Because I forgot I wanted to make this video before I started collecting everything. And yeah, now it's too late because I already pretty much collected everything. Um, so then there's the Cyber Bar, which I also can't do on either account. Which I was hoping I left one, but I did not. You can when you get... Because you usually get always get one for like 20, 40 gems. Those are like kind of easy and default ones you get a lot you can reset it and try to get the coin ones if you want extra gold um you might have to sacrifice a few gems that you'll get back in like about eight or whatever hours it is four six depending how long the mission is so that's kind of a way i balance that out is getting some extra money that way but the main thing is that these like i said I don't really cash in until I need them. So like these I might need. They're not going to be worth much. They never really are. But I can cash them in a while. But then if I'm like trying to save up to spend money and stuff. I will get as far as X Wars as I can. Until I cannot progress no matter what I try. And then I might cash them in to do some leveling up. Um, but I mean there's no real secret way to do it unless you're going to drop some money because there's oh whoa woohoo and there's someone else in here now i don't think this account really has anybody i want to throw in though no not really but i'll throw her in since she's leveled some this account's still a work in progress i am liking my team so far though those first five up there don't have a healer on it, but I do rotate in and out uh, Angel, so that's working out. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, what was the other thing? Oh. Um, in Union here. This is why it's very key to be in a very active alliance. Because if you can get everybody to be active, literally the second prize here is a 24-hour gold thing. And who doesn't want that? Granted, you can only collect that once a week. Which is why this count still has it. My main does not. I used it already because, like I said, I only, I only hoard for maybe a day or two. 
and then spend. Now, let me switch over to my main account quick. On this one, I always keep myself over 50 million. That is literally where I pretend I am broke and do not spend anything. And the reason for 50 million being my thing is that I always have enough for, in case of an emergency, for most anything. Um, why does my bottom screen look so weird? Altaria has so much space for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, it's the same concept over here because there's nothing really that you can just go to and collect money. You know, and I hate, kind of hate that fact. This is actually the lowest my vibranium's been in a while, but I just did a bunch of upgrades to weaponry. Finally got her all with all uh, legendary plus equipment. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's all you can really do, because you're going to re eventually reach a point where it's like this, and you got, like, a really good team, and your power level's so much higher, and you're like, yeah, there's no problem. They, there's no way they can lose this fight. And then you do it, and they freaking lose, and lose, and lose, and you're like, mother! <sighs> so money becomes a lot harder to earn when you get stuck. Pretty much like this account is, because, like, this I already did, so I can't advance anymore. But Galaxy wanted, I just reached 490 and hit it like a freaking brick wall. Just can't advance past that. Can't advance in X words, even though I just I just got here. I just finally finished off 22, which I was pretty excited about. I gotta finish up those two levels, but <laughs> I barely made it through either of them, so that's probably not gonna be for a bit yet. But whatever, that's neither here nor there either. So I mean, those are some things you could do. The best bet is to just hoard and restrict yourself and watch what you're spending money on. As if it was real money. As if this is the place to talk about real money and not wasting it, right? So even though this is my main account, if I go in here again, boom, as you can see, I started hoarding again over here. That's the easiest way i found to do it, because if it's not actually in your gold inventory, you're not as tempted to spend it. However, it's very tempting to actually use them, so it converts into your money, but... <sighs> Woosa and patience. Hey! Sorry, fire truck was driving by. Some of the homies from the local fire hall. Anyway. <clears throat> so, I mean, without spending... It's a bit complicated. One thing I also did, which I can't actually show you anymore, is I had a lot of gold weapons and stuff in here that I just held on to. And same thing over here, I had a bunch of blue and purple stigmatas that I held on to. And then, boom, just recycled them all. Because I mean, right now, when it comes to equipment, every single one of the heroes I use is equipped with at least the gold plus or epic plus whatever you want to call them your best bet to collecting anything is to hoard it um, one way or another you just got to hold on to it put yourself on spending limits so you can get stuff and try not to over stretch yourself when it comes to what you're using stuff on so like when it comes to your heroes um, <clears throat> I've only really been working predominantly on my main team but at the moment until I get more uh, uh, evolution stones, enhanced stones, whatever they're called those things um, can't really work on them much more like when I do get uh, those little juice file thingies um, my focus is going into them but I mean level wise they're all pretty much at the moment stuck these two I can't even evolve until I get Medusa and Falcon both up to 260. So, I mean, now I've started to expand my horizons. Started working on some of my backups that are at 240. But, I mean, it's really hard to accumulate stuff if you're not patient. And you're not putting yourself on some type of uh, proverbial budget, we'll call it. Because that's what I do. I mean, it's I'm kind of slow progressing now. And then every few days, I jump up in power. <laughs> so, I don't know. It works for me. I don't know how it works for everybody else. Uh, 
like I said, it helps to get further as, as far as you can. If you think you're just on the precipice of breaking the next war, then just hoard your things until, you know, you, you're officially stuck. But I mean, and in terms of actually making it, there's only so many places you can actually make money, especially when you're stuck in like Wanted and X Wars. There's also a Expedition if you haven't been doing it. I mean, let me go in here real quick. As you can see, whoop, I didn't want to go past that. As you can see, the rewards aren't too bad depending how far you get. They get a little hard to beat. I, mean, I haven't even tried this one, I just unlocked it. But. Oh, cool. Even got three stars. But <clears throat> that's basically what I do. Um, I was asking around to see if anybody had any other ideas. Doesn't really seem like many because a lot of people were just like, hey, hey, just spend money and you'll get money. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, well, that's not what I'm talking about or going for. So all I can really do is just pretty much portray what works for moi. All right, time to start the other video. Peace. What's the matter? You can't hold your liquor, huh?